Okay, uh, we, con we continue on the circular slope uh, failure. Uh, so this is an example of, of the type of failure. Okay. Uh, uh, either it is a shallow failure okay, or a deep failure. Okay, so it depends on uh, on the analysis that we have uh, that we will carry out okay um, to show uh, either it is a shallow or deep failure okay so there are sufficient uh, sufficient uh, failure is more related to erosions okay okay <clears throat> okay uh, uh, if we are using a manual approach okay so uh, this is the way that we um, use to determine okay, uh, the, the point of origin, okay, the point of origin for, uh, for this uh, type of, uh, uh, to, uh, to use it for the circular, uh, circular uh, failure plane approach. So how to determine the point of origin? Okay, defining a failure surface for a tow circle. Okay, uh, this is the for example, if the slope is beta. Okay, uh, so uh, we need to cons we need to use uh, the protector. Okay, so for example, uh, we need to construct for the alpha. Actually, this is sigma, but not alpha. So uh, this is yeah the the. the the, the in the diagram is just sigma. Uh, this is sigma, sigma one, sigma two. Okay. So for example, if this angle of the slope is eleven point three two, okay. So uh, we need to construct uh, for the alpha or for the sigma one twenty five. Okay. Then we may draw a horizontal line. Okay. Then. Uh, draw what we call as uh, alpha or sigma uh, or sigma 2 is equal to 35. Okay. So then um, we need to um, extend okay, this line. Okay. Yeah. Uh, until it meet uh, both of uh, the alpha one, sigma one, and also sigma two. Okay. However, okay, we need to make sure that okay, by using the compass, okay, uh, the r here is equal to the another one r. Okay. That's why we need to use the compass. Okay. So this is uh, the the to begin with. Okay, to start with uh, to determine the point of origin okay so later on we may uh, shift the location of the point of origin okay to to the other uh, direction or to the other location okay uh, where we want to determine the minimum factor safety value or the optimum location of the point of origin okay so Okay, there, there, there is another way. Uh, I need to show in the Tanoli Gopa reference. Uh, okay. That is for the first. Ad, uh, methods to determine the alpha value okay. if we assume that the failure is uh, happen at the toe so we have three type of uh, failure either toe slope and base okay so this is the 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 the, the one that we have discussed previously okay so there is another one okay um, the same um, location of the failure, which is uh, which is uh, start at the toe. Okay? So we may refer to this uh, graph okay, to determine where is the point of origin. I guess this is much more simple compared to uh, this alpha. 
Eh, sorry, the, 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 the first one. Okay. So let's see if the angle of the slope is 30. Okay. And then we know what is the height of the slope. Okay. So uh, 30, okay. Then uh, the point that, uh, sorry, the, 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 we meet the curve of xc over h, okay, where the value is around 1.5. Okay. So 1.5 is the xc over h okay, for, for the angle of 30. Okay. Then for the yc over h is equal to 2. Okay. yc over h is equal to 2. Okay. <clears throat> So let's say if we know the height, okay, we assume the height of the slope is equal to one. We use a simple, simple uh, calculation here. Okay. So the the uh, the the yc will be yc will be equal to two. Okay. So we need to uh, construct for a horizontal line, okay, from the toe, okay, uh, up to two meter. Okay, so this is the, the first horizontal line. Okay. And for the XC, okay, XC uh, if uh, YC is equal to it is the H is equal to one. Okay. So the XC will equal to 1.5. Okay. So then from the toe, okay, we need to draw for 1.5. 1.5 okay, okay, towards uh, 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 1.5 meter difference okay, from the two point. Okay. So from there, uh, so we, uh, we get the value for the XC. Okay. Then we draw a line. So the intersection between the YC and the XC is the point of origin. Okay. So that is uh, the case for the toe. If the failure is assumed at the toe, or if you want to start uh, to, to to locate for the first point of uh, point of origin. Okay. Later on, we we move. Uh, to, to the other location okay? <clears throat> to get the minimum factor safety. So we can assume it is a uh, base failure or slope within the slope surface failure or at the toe failure. Okay, so we need to have uh, make uh, several attempts. Okay? okay, so that is for to, to determine the locations. Okay? Actually, I forgot to put uh, the the second one. Okay. So you can go, you can look at Dr. Noligofa reference book. Eh? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so for the total stress approach, okay, uh, slope with circular failure plane, okay, and then we assume this a homogeneous cohesive soil, but there are some situations that we can also solve for a non uh, a layer of soil okay, where for this case the fee is equal to zero okay because it is a uh, total stress without any fee value so it's only rely on c okay so for uh, there will be two type of analysis okay the first one is with uh, with no tension crack okay so this is the uh, <clears throat> um, the diagram for for uh, to to use the circular uh, circular type of failure. Okay, so no tension crack happen. Okay, then we may determine the length of the L uh, the L A. Okay, so we need to times with the C A uh, with the C the cohesion the cohesions at this. Uh, this uh failure 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 of uh, failure surface okay. okay so uh we need to determine what is the la 
then we need to determine, we need to multiply with the C. Okay. And also the R need to get the, yeah, actually L is the length times with C. Okay. <clears throat> why for the, uh, why for, that is for resisting force. Why for the driving, they call a resisting moment, so resisting moment. Okay. Why for the driving moment? Okay. We need to know what is the W, the width of this uh, block. Okay. And time with the moment arm. <clears throat> time with the moment arm to get the driving force. Okay. So normally for the driving force, okay, uh, we may in, uh, there will be uh, additional uh, driving force. Okay, instead of only consider the weight of the block. Okay, if they are surcharge, okay, uh, located on 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 within the slope uh, within the slope circle failure so we need to include the the surcharge value as well okay or if we have a case with a tension crack with the tension crack okay so this tension crack happen due to the due to to the error okay during the compaction where the uh, a crack happen Okay, and the crack <clears throat> normally we pull will fill by a water either it is full or half okay or, or or up to certain level of water will fill this tension crack okay so if this tension crack happen okay so the effective length okay uh, for the resisting uh, moment will be reduced okay because we only consider the length from the 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 toe or from yeah, from the toe of the slope okay to the end or to the end of the tension crank okay so that is the effective new effective length compared to this one from the toe to the top <clears throat> okay so uh, this tension crank okay due to it is filled with water okay so it can uh, contribute to the driving moment okay, force or to the driving moment. Okay. So we will have a W as the driving force and also the PW as another additional driving force. And if we have a surcharge here, so this also, this surcharge also contribute to the driving force. So we may have a three combination of surcharge, uh, the weight of the block, the <clears throat> hydrostatic pressure in the tension crack, and the surcharge on the top of the slope. Okay. So means that if there are tension crack, we can reduce uh, the effective length, and definitely at the end we can reduce the factor safety value. So that is on the uh, total stress approach. Okay. <clears throat> so this is the formula. Okay. Without tension crack, the formula is Cu times Le, the length, times R, okay, over W times D. Okay. So D, D is the moment arm. Actually, R is also the moment arm. So we use the concept of moment arm. Okay, we use the concept of moment, which is the Resisting moment over driving <coughs> moment. Okay. If there is a tension crank, okay, so the L prime will be used because this is the L effective, okay, over W times D is the driving moment uh, due to the block uh, weight of the weight of the slope. Plus, with the hydrostatic pressure, okay, from uh, due to the what we call due to the tension crack, okay, times with the moment arm of the YC, the moment arm which is the YC, okay. <clears throat> so this is the uh, the the uh, the calculation or the formula for the uh, factor safety if there is a tension crack. Okay. 
So the moment arm, okay, for this uh, what we call as a tri triangular shape, okay. If we uh, if we uh, yeah, from the top of the triangular, okay. Normally, uh, uh, tension crack is uh, is assumed uh, to be developed. Uh, um, be before, uh, uh, yeah, we, we may use this tension crack um, if we observe for any tension crack happen. Okay, so in order to calculate for the factor safety, we may include this tension crack um, on 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 the analysis. Okay, assume that this tension crack happen before uh, before the slope fail because we want to determine the factor safety by including this tension crack okay, to check the stability okay so if there is a tension crack okay and then when we carry out for analysis the factor, uh, the the value of the factor safety is still above 1.5 so uh, we need to treat the tension crack only okay to uh, to make sure that it doesn't uh, uh, make uh, become uh, make the, the the slope become worse okay okay <clears throat> so this that is example eh, uh, for the this did that this the equation for the factor safety for the uh, total stress approach okay so now we look on dr nolly uh, example Okay, so this is uh, for the same and um, now consider slope. The moment okay, they use the concept of moment. Okay. okay, this is this is the, the, the derivation of the formula. Okay. So we look on this, uh, okay, the, the, the first example, an excavation was made of a depth of six meter forming an angle of 35. If the soil is, is cohesive with CU25 and phi is equal to zero, the unit weight of the soil is 20. Okay, by using the figure 5.5, okay, we refer to the figure 5.5. <clears throat> Okay, by using this figure, to get the first, okay, use the fig, okay, use figure 5.5 .5 to get the first approximate chain of failure plane for the slope. Okay, find the failure safety of the slope if the weight of sliding is 893 kilonewton and the center of gravity of sliding mass is at horizontal distance of 3.95 from point zero. The radius of circle is 10. Okay. So by using the, the figure 5.5, okay, uh, yeah, uh, we, we may determine the, the, what is the degree of, of, of the, of this, of the slope. Okay. So from there, uh, the uh, with the beta is equal to thirty five. Okay. okay. So if beta is equal to thirty five, okay. So the alpha will be twenty six, while the sigma will be thirty five. So although it is not accurate as thirty three point seven nine, okay, but we can still use the alpha, the same alpha and the same theta of 30, 26 and 35 okay so then uh yeah because that only doesn't show the construction of, of uh, by using the figure 5.5 .5, okay so the theta that we want to investigate okay, is that this theta okay this theta okay 
So uh, actually we need to construct first, okay, then to determine the theta, okay. So we need to um, get the value for, for the other, which is the alpha is already 26, beta is 35, and gamma is sigma is 35. So then we can get the theta value. Okay? So the theta can be obtained okay, when we minus 118 with alpha, beta, and also the sigma. Okay. So the value of the theta, okay, the value of the theta is equal to 84. Okay. <clears throat> so then, CU is 25, it's 25. LA, okay. LA is the length, okay. So we need to use R times L. Sorry, uh, to get the LA, okay, uh, in Dr. Kamaruddin, uh, he defined the LA. Sorry. How to get the LA? Okay. Length of the arch. Okay. Actually, the LA is R theta, not R square theta. So if if you if you look on the equation to to get the length of the arch, okay, is R theta. <clears throat> r theta okay r theta so for this case the r is equal to is the r, r is equal to 10 okay r is equal to 10 okay so r theta okay, the theta is 84 okay so we need to change the the the, the degree and eh? the degree to radian okay? 84 okay? which is phi phi times with um not 360 yeah? is it 360 Is it uh, it's supposed to be 180? Eh? Uh, oh, because he, he used two, eh? Two pi. Okay. Normally to, to get the R theta, eh, to, to get the L A is R theta. Okay. Oh, this is uh, yeah, the, the radius. Okay. This is not diameter. So okay. so R directly is 10 okay, times 84 over 180, okay? So that is for the R, for the L, okay? And then multiply with another R, okay? So in this case, the R is equal to 10, okay? So a little bit confused here because uh, Dr. Noli used two. So when divide with 360, so it become 180, okay? So normally uh, for, for the L, A is in R theta. So we use R, times theta 84 over 180 and times with phi because we cannot multiply degree with a normal number. So we need to change to radian. Okay? So to change to radian, 84 should times with the phi with the pi over 180. Okay? So by the turn only go far, use two and then divide with 360. So at the end, we obtain 180 as well. Okay. <clears throat> so then multiply with another R. So that's why he, he used R uh, 10 square. Okay. Because actually LA is equal to R theta times R or CU R square theta. Okay. So divide with the W. W is the mass 583 time with the 3.92 which is the 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 the, the moment arm okay 3.92 for the uh, block 
Okay, so the result is 1.57. Okay. I will share with you uh, uh, because this is being provided. Eh? There, there will be another way that we need to calculate manually okay? for the first for the for the what we call it for the width of the block. Okay. And also to get the moment arm. Okay. So in this case, uh, you has been provided with the moment arm and also the width of the block. Okay. So I will, I will share with you uh, based on another reference okay, from ESCE Press. Okay. So it shows how to determine the, the, the width of the block and also the moment arm of the of that block okay so this is 1.57 okay okay so another example which is uh on 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 a tension crack okay the slope of embankment is one vertical over two horizontal and the vertical uh height is 10 meter okay the saw has an undrained coefficient of 35 and unit weight of 18 a failure plane is assumed with a radius of 22.83. Okay, so that is the R. The weight of weight of the moving mass is 3150. Okay, so this is the weight of the of the of the slope. Okay. A tension crack exists on the surface of the slope and it's filled with water. So this tension crack is filled with a water. Okay. So determine the factor safety against shear failure along the trial arch assumed in the figure okay so first uh, we determine uh, the resisting moment okay <clears throat> okay the degree of the slope is 26.5 based on one to two okay one vertical to two horizontal okay the soil under is cu is 35 okay then we uh, we is not proper to use the the formula um the first this formula okay we need to use uh, the formula that have a tension crack okay so the author start with the calculation of the pw okay so the pw okay uh, actually uh, the the pore water pressure okay uh, with the height of 3.3 okay with the depth of 3.3, okay, we need to determine what is the PW. Okay, stop. I will stop and then I will share um, using the pin. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, to get the the value of the PW, okay. So uh, we need to draw this diagram, okay, where the pore water pressure will increase with the depth. Three point three is the is the height, uh, the, the the depth of the of 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 the of the tension uh, the, uh, the the tension crack, okay. So uh, the Tenoli use nine point eight one, eh? okay. So three point three times 9.81 is the value for the pw okay 3.3 times 9.81 32 the value is 32 point 37 okay okay <clears throat> then to get the pw okay we need to uh, determine the area of this triangle okay. so half times 3.3 times 32.37 okay. half time 3.3 times 32.37 so obtain 53.41 okay so that is the value for the p w okay. 
point to two point six five. Okay, so we obtained fifty three point four one. Okay, might be the uh, she used uh, one nine point eight one, eh? nine point eight one. A nine point one, so nine, so nine point eight, nine point eight one times three point three times half times three point three. Oh, this is uh, wrong. Eh? Not fifty four point three five. It is fifty three point four one. Okay. If using nine point eight, so the value is is less. Time three point three. Okay, so this is wrong, but yeah, uh, 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 almost similar, uh, fifty three point something. Okay, so that is for the PW. Okay, why for the LA? Okay, uh, LA is equal to thirty three point one one. Okay, so this is the LA. From here to end of the tension crack. Okay. <clears throat> uh, okay. Uh, then we calculate for the factor safety. Okay, 35 is the C value. Okay. C is 35. Okay, times with uh, the LA, 33.11. Okay, so that is the LA. Times with the R. R is 22.83. Okay. So that is for the resisting moment. Okay. Now for the driving moment, 3150 is the weight of the block. Okay. Times with the moment arm 7.35. 7.35 here. The D. Uh, this is 7.3. Okay. But she use 7.35 okay okay plus uh 4.35 times 12.2 how come 12.2 okay 12.2 uh is the is the yc eh? okay yc is 12.2 i guess uh, she missed 55 here. 5 here. Eh? Supposed to be 54.35 times 12.2. Okay, let, let me calculate first. Does the result is same or not? 54.35 times 12.2 plus 300. Okay. So the value is also wrong here. It's supposed to be 23,815, okay, not 22, okay? But it's okay. Uh, you, you have the notes, so you, you need to, you need to, uh, you need to, you need to correct it, okay? <clears throat> yeah, it's the normal. Some, sometimes uh, when, when I, uh look on several example on the textbook so there are a lot of error that's why we need to try so the same error also on the on the first part here it is 26456 not 26444 okay so the value of safety is different okay it's not 1.15 if both of the value is 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 difference okay so that is the idea uh, for the total stress approach. Okay, so we look on Dr. Kamaru. We look on dust. Okay, is, is there any discussion on dust? Uh, I skip for the dust. Okay, uh, we look on Dr. Kamaru then, example. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, in <clears throat> sorry, in, in practical, okay. Uh, if we see any, uh, for example, any crack on the top of the of the slope, okay. Uh, and then if we can measure uh, for any uh, develop any development of pore water pressure or any uh, is there any water field detention crack okay so we need to measure the 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 the, the height of the tension crack and also uh, uh, what uh, what is the height of the water field inside this tension crack Yeah, because this formula is not very, this approach is not very popular uh, and it's not very easy uh, to, to, to run using, the, using the, the, the numerical tools. So it is just uh, an example uh, that we have this type of analysis okay, by using the total stress approach. Yeah, at the end, uh, normally we use the method of slices, but I just want to show some of example that uh, that that that's been uh, published in, in in any reference book. Okay. So in practical, normally we use the yeah the method of slices, okay, or using the numerical tool, but at least you know that there are some. Uh, approach okay that normally that have been used and it has been published okay. okay we look on this uh, two example eh, before we end the class <clears throat> okay. uh, for the first example okay uh, it is example for a two type of uh, layer soil. Two type of layer of soil. Okay. However, um, um, if we have two type of layer of soil, uh, it is not a homogeneous. It, it, it is not a, what we call as a, a, a true circular uh, type of failure because uh, the, the the soil is not homogeneous. But for, for, for the sake of uh, analysis, okay, so we assume it is a, 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 a circular type of failure. Okay, <clears throat> okay uh, I guess we already know how to calculate for this example. Okay, so we have a W1, W2, and it's been provided with W1 and W2 in this case. Okay, uh, in terms of the of the area, okay, and the volume, okay, in terms of volume, okay, we we call it as a volume because, uh, uh, in this case we refer to a two D, okay, but when we multiply with the unit weight, we can get uh, the volume, and the weight that. We we assume this is meters meter square per length. Meter square meter square. Okay. Actually, it's we can consider as a meter cube okay. because we, we we consider as a per, per meter run okay. for every run for every meter run. Okay. <clears throat> so for the ABC is ABC is eight hundred uh, meter uh, square. While for the BCE is uh, 400 meter square. Then to get the W, we just multiply 800 with 18 and 400 with 19. Okay. For the CU is provided 40 and 55. Okay. In this case, we already know the angle of BC and the angle of CD. So C times LA times R. Okay is the resisting moment okay while w times d is the driving moment okay for the w2 because the the driving moment is acting on the on the on the origin of the of the arch so there will be no a driving moment for the w2 
So we only have W1 in the calculation. Okay. <clears throat> so this is an example. Then uh, later on, if we divide resisting moment with the driving moment, so we obtain the value is less than one. Okay. So the value is 0 0.86. Okay, note that the driving moment due to the saw segment VC is neglected as the weight of the saw which W1 acting through the center of the circle. Okay, okay. <clears throat> so this example uh, related to uh, tension crack and they are a uh, uh, surcharge on the top of the slope. So it has three combination of uh, driving moment, the weight of the slope, the surcharge and also the what we call as the um, the tension crack. Okay. <clears throat> okay, a three meter deep tension crack developed entry with water. Okay. So the, the problem with this uh, question, it doesn't show the degree okay, from the toe to the end of the tension crack. Okay. So it shows the top to the toe. In terms of the 120 degree, so we need to find what is the tension, what is the degree uh, from the toe to the end of the tension, correct? Okay. <clears throat> okay. So resisting moment, driving moment. Okay. Uh, R square. Okay. Um. So in order to to determine the 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 distance the degree from toe to the end of the tension crack, okay. So we may use this kind of approach. Okay. So for for example, actually this is r theta, you know, r square theta. Okay, I, I will give the the uh, this example later on. Okay, but I will uh, amend the the the. Uh, this uh, error. Okay. <clears throat> so R theta equal to three. Okay, uh, the author just assume okay this uh, length. Okay, the length, the length of uh, this, uh, the length of this circular uh, arch uh, due to the tension crack is similar with the height of the tension crack. Okay, but actually it's it's not. That is not the way that we assume uh, this should be similar with the height, okay? But because we doesn't have the data or, or the they are not provided the angle from to to the end of the tension crack, so we we just assume it is slightly similar, <clears throat> okay? So then, if we not if if uh if this is not r square theta, so if this is r theta, okay? At the end, the theta is around seven degree. Okay, where we divide three over twenty four, not twenty four square. Okay? So we obtain zero point one two five. Okay, then to change to degree, we need to multiply with hundred eighty divide with five. So we obtain seven point one six degree. So that is the degree value. Okay. Then 120 should deduct with 7.16 okay, to get the length for the L A. Okay. So then uh, the resisting moment okay, is not 36,100. Okay. The new resisting moment after we minus with 7, not 0 0.3, okay. 7.16 okay. over 180 times 5 times 24 square times 30. Okay, the new value is 34,031 kilonewton per meter per meter run. Okay. So this is per meter run. It means that for every one meter run, the moment is 30, uh, 30, 
4,000. Okay, I, I will share the, the correct one eh, later on. Okay, <clears throat> so that is for the resisting moment. Okay, meanwhile, the driving moment is the sum of moment due to the weight of the sliding wedge. Okay, distributed load. Okay, we have three there. Weight, uh, moment of the weight of the sliding wedge. This, uh, this distributed load and the water pressure in the tension crack. Okay, so moment due to the weight of the saw width is 27,500. Okay, so that is the moment for the saw width. Okay, <clears throat> so the moment due to the uniform distributed load, okay, in this case, the distributed load is 50. Okay, 50, then we multiply with it, okay, and then multiply with the moment arm. Okay. So for this case, 50 times 8 to get in the load, okay, and then multiply with 5 times, okay, 5 plus 2 plus 4, that is the moment arm. So the result is 4,400, okay, <clears throat> 4,400. And the last one is the tension crack, okay. <clears throat> So note that the water pressure in the tension is acting horizontally to the left as shown below. Okay. So this is the tension crack. Okay. Here's the moment arm is measured vertically from the center of the circle to the centroid of the water pressure. Okay. The moment due to the water pressure in tension crack. Okay. Okay. Uh, first, the height. Sorry, the the the. Okay, this uh, this is provided as seven. Okay, the the total YC is seven plus two over three times the height of the tension crack, which is three. Okay, because for the triangular, uh, the moment arm. Okay, if we uh, if we point from the top, it should be two third from the height. So if we if we uh, Determine from the bottom, it should be half a one third from the total height. So normally for retaining wall, we use uh, the bottom of the of the of the of the triangular to get the moment. So it is normally one third. But for this case, we use the top of the triangular, so we use two third of the height. Okay. <clears throat> So then 7 plus 2 third from the height, we obtain uh, 9 for the YC. Okay. <clears throat> so times with the area of this uh, four water pressure, okay, which is half time HW square times gamma W. So we obtain 405. So the combination of driving uh, uh, the, the width of the slope uh, the the driving sorry uh, the the distributed uniform load and also the tension crack so the factor safety is equal to 1.12 okay so that is example for the total stress <clears throat> okay so i guess uh, that is for for uh, today class let me share first the, the link for the attendance okay, before we end the class. Is there any question? Excuse me, Prof. How, uh -huh. can, I, how can I know the tension crack depth and when he will happen? Uh, only with the poor water pressure or, or there is uh, specific cases to happen for the tension crack? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Let, let me share first the 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 attendance design. Okay. Okay. So I uh, answer your question.
Okay. I have shared the 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 attendant uh, link. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I see. I get the the, the same question uh, from Yap. Um. Uh, yeah, it, it, when 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 we refer to the reference book, okay, uh, they mentioned that the tension flag is due to uh, a weakness uh, during, uh, yeah, due due to the weakness during the compactions, uh, during the constructions. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, we may measure it okay, after we seen for any tension crack uh, at the site. So uh, I didn't I did I did not have any experience on that case. Okay, but I assume that um, uh, <clears throat> uh, we need to measure the the height of the tension crack either by using uh, what we call as a a, a distometer, okay, a laser 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 uh, distometer. Okay, so at the same time. Uh, or you can use a normal measuring tape okay, to determine the, the 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 depth of the of this tension crack, and at the same time we need to monitor uh, if the tension crack is filled with water, okay, by using the the same observation method, okay. Uh, that 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 is uh, how could we measure the 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 tension crack. So that's why it's very important okay, during the compaction uh, at the site, okay, we need to make sure that uh, the compaction effort is uh, at least 95% from the uh, MDD, maximum density from the compaction test. Okay. So if we follow the specification, so I guess there will be no uh, a tension crack uh, occur in in the in the slope structure. Hmm. Okay. Hey, Prof, thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, so uh, please fill the attendance uh, link. Attend the attendance form. Okay. Uh, I will share Dr. Kamarudi example in the e-learning. And also, I will share for another example on the EACE uh, press, okay, which is show how to determine or to calculate the moment arm, okay, and the width of the <coughs> structure, uh, width of the slope uh, structure, okay. Okay, so with that, uh, we end our class. Okay, until we meet, if I'm not mistaken, next two weeks, eh? next two weeks. Okay. Uh, Prof, uh, when I open the link, I don't know. Uh, give me error. Error? Okay. Yeah, Prof. I, yeah. I already have seven response. Yeah, yeah, Prof, maybe I have problem. I will try again. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, now, okay. Thank you, Prof. Okay. Okay, okay. So with that, uh, I we we end our class for today. Okay, so I ha have a nice holiday. Okay, so I need to go to Malacca. Okay, and then back to the office after uh, send my kid to to Malacca. Okay, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and Good morning. Thank you, Prof. Alikum Salam. Alikum Salam, Prof.